Hey Xerxes, guess what we're doing today? Something a bit disturbing, but we're actually doing something pretty cool. We're making a guillotine today, isn't that awesome? So, to do that we need a lot of commands. So, as you can see we go over here, we have a nice big command block machine. We put it a bit far away so that the lag won't really disturb our gameplay today. So, with that, when you do spawn that, there will be a sign to right click to get your items. Those two items will be to assemble the guillotine and to remove the guillotine. So, of course, you want to assemble it and not remove it. So, it's turning night. So, we're going to put this down here. And basically, it assembles our guillotine for here. So, there you go. There you go. It assembled our guillotine. As you can see, it's pretty... Pretty neat with like a real blade and stuff made of quartz. So, pretty cool. So, to actually summon the guy who actually, the executioner, I could say, you will need an obsidian block and some feathers. So, it's sort of like not not your typical summoning items, but you do. So, you put the, obs the feather right here, and you put this obsidian right here, and some sort of demonic. Uh, ritual thingy comes in with this really disturbing noise and it will summon the executioner so as you can see it will work and as you can see that goes a, a little bit of sparks go there and that goes there which is quite odd I I'd stay back Xerxes you're gonna get burned as you can see and a little bit more and then the executioner shall come which, sh oh my god, look at the fireworks. The fireworks have come, which means that he's come. There he is. Here's the man himself. That's the executioner right there, the guy who's going to kill everyone. So, and there's our victim. That's the victim. So, basically, how you want to let this work, and stand back, sir, because I told you to get back. I don't want to get. I want, I so basically, when you get this, you get the cut. The head of the guy who created the mod, which is City Map, and the victim, which is a pumpkin head. So, you just don't want to listen, do you? So, when you do spawn your little executioner right here, you're going to want to have to ex execute the victim because what's the fun without doing it? To do that, you will need a stone hoe, like some just stone hoe, but it has to be a stone hoe. So, you have to rename the stone hoe to the. S Why can I not name it? Hold on. Oh. Okay, there you go. Can I name you? Can I please name you? Can I name you? There you go. Into something called the Scythe of Death. There you go. So with that, I think we're going to have to spawn a couple of these just so that we don't have to keep renaming them. There you go. There you go. Just put that there. So to kill him... You will basically grab your Scythe of Death, and then just throw it. This is when the fun happens, and when the victim gets killed. As you can see. There you go. And now, shh, the pumpkin head. Ha! <laughs> He's dead. You're dead. You're dead. And look at all the fruit juice that's coming out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. So... Let's uh, clean this up. You will need some slam balls and you just have to just throw it. And with that, it will clear up everything. This pumpkin head will go by in the air. I don't know where it's going. Where are you going, pumpkin head? Where are you going? What are you doing? What? Oh, oh, okay. Bye. I guess. So there's a new victim and there's the executioner. So what is good about this is that you actually get to change the both their heads, the executioner's head and the victim's head, which actually creates a lot more fun. So you can get your friend's head and then you can get your head or you can get your head and your friend's head and you can execute each other, which is quite disturbing, but who cares about that just for fun. So basically, we're just going to try this out with these commands that will be in the website, which I will link below to so change the executioner's head. You just get the player name into something else. So let's say I get uh, my name, which is GameSTF, which is the executioner. Let me click that, and as you can see, there's my head, which is actually cool. And then you can actually change the victim's head. So, what will, what will we change this into? Uh, let's let's say we're gonna execute. Who are we? Who are we gonna execute, guys? Who 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 do you think will be the best to execute in this video? Maybe we can execute Quizter. Maybe that. Maybe maybe we can do that. 
Okay, there you go. There you go. There's Quister's head, and there's my head. So basically, just want to get the scythe, the host, the scythe of death again. I just want to, just want to, just, just want to put that there. And then the disturbing thing happens, and <laughs> this happens. He's dead. Now you're ha you're dead. You're dead. And do you feel good about yourself, me? Do you feel good about yourself? Yeah, you do feel good about yourself for killing your own friend. There you go. So, let's clean this up again and try this one more time because we do have one more hoe of death. So, scythe of, scythe of death. So, that goes there. That goes bye. So, are you, you going to go? Bye. Bye. There you go. So, basically, you can even get a YouTuber's head on this. But I don't really want to do that because I did you know, so we're gonna put let's say mango in, which is uh, iron mango. So we're gonna put uh, the iron mango in there. We're gonna put done. We're gonna click that, and then his head comes, <laughs> which is awesome. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna go with the scythe of death and throw it and watch the blood and gore happen. There you go, and then. He will die, and you will feel good about yourself. Oh my goodness. So much fruit juice. Everyone has fruit juice inside of them. So we're going to clean this up, and we're going to remove this, and you know what? There you go. Remove that, and basically it's turning into daytime, which I can see right here. Which means that our time is up, Mr. Executioner, or I should say, say me. There you go. So let's remove all this so to clear all the lag. Okay, there, remove the guillotine right there. Remove that torch right there. And Xerxes is just right there. So, basically, that is what you get when you play with this custom command today. Don't Make sure to leave a like if you found it funny, interesting, or doing it yourself, which I will link in the description below. Make sure to thank the creator, City Map, for creating this awesome mod. I mean, not mod. This awesome command, which apparently he took 17 hours to create. Which is insane, but all his hard work goes to pay for this fun command. So really thank him for that. And make sure to subscribe to see more videos such as these mod reviews, which I mostly do. And this, because this is like sort of a mod, but less, 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 more complicated to install and more fun to review. So really hope you did enjoy. And Xerxes and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.